surgery is by Dr. Subodh Sinha from Center for Science. Uh, he's, uh, I think, already done the capsular access and I'll be doing uh, uh, part of it. So, uh, I, uh, Subodh is an excellent surgeon with us, so he'll be talking about uh, the surgery and I'll be talking about the lens. So we we all notice that the uh, the hydro maneuvers are all done through the main port and not done through the side ports. And I think that's important uh, to not overfill or over uh, uh, increase the pressure in the anterior chamber. Is there a live audio from the OT? Everybody, please check. We can't hear the surgeon. There should be some background noise, no? Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Is it on? Hello. Yeah. yeah, hi, we can hear you. Yeah, Rishi, sorry, Dr. Small is uh, doing biosurgery for the first time, so maybe he doesn't want to speak. So, uh, anyway, just center it. So, he is uh, using a uh, Veritas machine, and uh, I don't know, I think he normally does a straight job, and this he is doing the, uh, the dividing. No, uh, the parameters direct, direct, are direct shop. Direct chop, yeah. What are the parameters? So that is about uh, 300 vacuum and a power of 35, aspiration flow rate of 38. Is it quadrant? Pe karna. So Have or machines they have done is that they have uh, they have 
kind of uh, reduce the inner lumen or there is a constriction that reduces the surge. But uh, as a trade-off, what happens is that you have pieces that get stuck into the view. So you can see in this particular case that uh, he is using a 20 gauge. Uh, I normally, we normally use here uh, uh, the Kelman tip which is 19 or 20 gauge. And with that also you can go up to uh, the higher vacuum which are here. So just now you can see that the vacuum is 390 uh, that is being used. So Dr. Subodh has been with us and he is a great trainer and a, a, a nice surgeon. So I thought I might as well go we just asked him to make it go axial. So you can see a nice uh, axis, maybe uh, round circular. I might have preferred for this lens to be slightly larger, but uh, I think it's uh, slightly around 5 or maybe a little less than 5 millimeters. Uh, again, we are using a not a bi manual but a co axial and uh, that's, that's what we normally use. You can see the ease of aspiration. There is a lot of discussion about venturi uh, versus peristaltic and also about bi manual and co axial every time that comes. But uh, we found we find that the uh, co axial is uh, pretty less smooth. So the uh, it is pretty efficient. Uh, it's faster uh, if you are using a coil And we used to we didn't have uh, any uh, bi manual when we started Peco. And at that time it was not angled. It was a straight one. So we normally. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Subodh. I think excellent surgery done by Dr. Subodh. And now lens though. Uh, now then, so, uh, this, uh, sorry, I'll reduce the magnification as much. You asked me to show this. So, so basically, this uh, lens is a hydrophobic uh, lens with 4% It comes 4.6%. It comes like this. And uh, we will just open this. Okay? Let's go open this. And pull this. So then you have this uh, injector system. Uh, we will put the lens. No. Okay, so once we have opened this, this lens has come like this. You can see this lens. We will go in and this lens comes like this. Okay, so I have got this attached. Uh, we load it. Now what we have to do is that there is a, okay, we just have to push it once like this. So you can see that lens, there is a stop here, it doesn't go beyond this. Come back and then the, you know, we put with viscoelastic, uh, sorry, uh, ESS first and then we have to put uh, viscoelastic into this hole. Okay, so now you have this lock here, you can put it either to the left or right and just take it out. Okay, you saw that? No, we saw that. Now we are ready to load. I'll just increase the magnification. So now you can see that the Rex is maximum for the light. Light for the Okay, so we go in. And uh, small rexes, but you can see we are going in with the two loops inside. And as they open, uh, you will just push this also. I will try to push it in. And that's uh, it goes in. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you was, I'll just pull it down. Can you? There is a knob here. Can you see a knob here? Or maybe the next surgeon can show you. There's a knob. Can you see on the top here? 
that has to be on the right leading. There, can you see this? This small, this small knuckle. Can you see this small knuckle? ये small knuckle दिख रहा है आपको? Haptic में? हाँ? Yes sir, we can see. हाँ, so that is basically on the right leading that has to be there. And now you can see, we can just push in the lens with ease. And you can see that the lens is well centered. And that is about the end of the surgery. I would be enlarging the rexes a little bit, I suppose. But you can go ahead and go to the next case if you want. I think Sonu is there. You can see it is well within the bag. Any questions for me? See one one particular thing. If you can see, there is a stria in the posterior capsule. So once you see the stria in the posterior capsule, what it means is that the lens is in the bag. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, you were asking me a question. Size of the incision as of now is 2.8 with this preloaded one. Otherwise, the the non-preloaded can go through 2.2. And we will soon have uh, the lens with a uh, preloaded version that can go with 2.2. So I don't want a capsular phimosis, that's why I'm just uh, doing this. Can you see? I've just made a nick here and I've just enlarged the <coughs> Any other questions you have for me? What is your experience of this? What is the experience? Experience is good. So you can see in the experience perspective, what I'll say is that the, obviously the quality of the vision is good. Uh, the uh, other thing that we wish to say is that the addition that we have in this particular case is about 1.5 for reading uh, to 1.75. 1 uh, so you are gaining uh, about uh, 1.1 to 1.2 lines of vision which is there. Uh, so that is my experience. The quality for distance vision is good. The A constant calculation uh, with the A constant for the I1 master is also pretty accurate. So overall, uh, too early for me to comment on PCO. Uh, we don't have a toric variety. So as of now, with the non-toric variety, the, uh, the centration is pretty good and uh, hopefully there won't be any irritation with the uh, toric variety because the arc contact uh, with this lens is more than our C loop uh, that you have with the other lenses. So because it's a more quadrant and then this uh, though it comes in water like the Invista comes, uh, it is majorly a glistening free acrylic material and uh, there is a change in the spherical abrasion that you have between the different powers. And uh, you have powers up to 13.5 and up to 35 with one uh, gradation. So overall experience has been good. Uh, uh, though uh, early days and limited, but uh, I have not found uh, any unwarranted uh, kind of side effects with this particular lens. Yes. Okay, just hydrating. Uh, any? So we will go on with the other case? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Good evening, panelists. Uh, thank you, Mahipal sir, for this opportunity and Rajesh sir for this lovely conference. Uh, I will be showing an MICS in this 45-year-old uh, uh, female who has a grade 2 cataract. I have done the rexis. I am just going to go in. I am going to do the hydro procedures. I prefer doing a hydro delineation first in such cases so that I get a good, you see this? I very get a very good golden ring. Then I go ahead with the dissection. So I know my nucleus is nice and separated. And later when I go in for my IA, I know that my epinucleus is already sorted. I'm using the Signature Pro. I go in with a direct chop. Vacuum 380, power 35, please. Okay. So I take off any loose cortex. 
then just go in hold and give a nice chop that's it so i've got a good chop once i do that so namrata this is your c session now yes sir i mean we were wondering uh, Quadrant, uh, please. The surgeon has been changed, but it is good. Yossi is operating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Abam bude hoga surgery kar kar ke. Youngster, youngsters have to be given a chance. I, I can't be doing everything. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. The, I was just thinking that the, how your voice has changed. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, this no, is I'm my. I'm still here. And also, sir, this is my sixth anniversary at Center for Sight today. Oh, great! So Congratulations. Six, Thank you. Sixth Happy New Year, please. Okay, Happy. Good. So pretty easily, I could get a great tooth cataract through this machine, and uh, now I'll try and Tata take my. Tata, you've taken the most cooperative patient. Yes, ma'am. I was hearing the other. Are all the oh. patients are cooperative? I don't know what happened to the last one yeah. there. I really don't know. So doing the good dissection and delineation gives me this epinucleus. So I get it though. Let's go. So Raghav is one of our early fellows yeah. who's uh, be become a consultant here. I'm a complete and, CFS uh, product, <laughs> and uh, yeah. he's helped us a lot uh, in the entire Lita uh, yeah. study. Lens, please. Ah. So we'll be uh, injecting an impress, right? Yes. So basically, the impress is uh, an enhanced monofocal with uh, the uh, normal uh, uh, negative aspherosity that is there. Sure. Uh, the Polish center, piece. central two millimeters is the area where you have, and normally we have seen that uh, also the treatment of the undersurface and on the lens uh, reduces the PCO. And uh, we have seen that the addition goes down to uh, something like 1.5 or 1.75 for near. So that's a good job done, Raghav. Fast, Thank efficient. You, so loading the Hoya lens is always a breeze. It goes in through a two millimeter. I can use the plunger as well as a uh, uh, dialer. But right I now, don't, I don't. Namrata, Rajesh, uh, Rishi. I think this is one of the best uh, injector systems that uh, one has because it's, I, yes, so it's completely so agree it's, with you. It's a complete in the back placement. So I go yeah, in the back. Undoubtedly, I agree. Yeah. It. It's the that most is. smooth and wonderful injector system. So excellent, uh, Raghav. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Job done.